Welcome back to Suladan Plays Dark Souls, Daughters of Ash. Last time we met with the Ben of Chaos and Jeremiah and dealt with them both. And uh, now I'm gonna see if there, see if I can have any luck getting down into the lava area of Isolith because you know previously I've not had much luck doing that. And oh, now this stays activated. It wasn't doing so before. I just run across it out of habit just to be extra sure. Uh. will drop me down here, which will hurt pleasantly. Can, can y'all not? I don't think to go dig out a fire resistant shield. I probably am going to have to dig out a fire resistant shield then, aren't I? Uh, but I don't think I'll be able to do it because the lava is going to. Either path I take to try to get there will involve me in lots of lava. Stop trying to be threatening. You're not doing a good job, sir. But either route I can think of involves lava, which, you know, because the game is designed with the assumption that I'll have the orange charred ring after beating the centipede demon, which I would fight in this room, makes sense. But without pyromancy for me to use, like, the, uh, you know, flash sweat and whatnot, what I can try... No. I don't think I don't like about Dark Souls 1. When you find items, it puts it on there. So if you want less than five items, you'll constantly be dealing with that. See, lava hurts. Bad. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is put on a lot of fire-resistant gear. And then see if it'll let me through here. There's also the fact that the lava is very processing heavy. But see, I need to make it to that. If I can make it to there, maybe. But basically, we're going to try to bump my fire resistance up as high as I can. The trick I find is to just scroll through your armor. And each time you find something that goes higher, switch to it. And then all you've got to do is watch for the number to change color. Oop, oop. Hey, one more. I'll take it. Really? Oh, 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 I thought there was something higher. See, the gold hem stuff should be the most fire-resistant stuff I have. In most cases. Do I have a fire-resistant ring? I do not. I have 278 fire resistance, and my shield will not have an impact on the math here, so... Okay, that made a big difference. Next thing I'm gonna do... Okay, uh... Rolling seems to help, so I should probably spam roll. You know, you would normally never have to try to do this without the orange charred ring. Oh, that one roll that went in a really bad direction. item over there, and I really want it, but I'm not stupid enough. I'm tempted, but I'm not stupid enough. Because we know I'm just going to die. I hold Why are you here? I mean, it's nice to see this thing used more, but... That's too good. That's the camera and make me feel like you're going to attack me, but, you know... This area is a bit more spooky when you've got to worry about constant death. I'm going to run out of Estus so fast. See, I don't know where to go from here. Because there, there's no making it across there. See, that's where I need to get to. And you can see the centipede demon way over. I'm 
thinking. Give me a minute. No, even with rolling. Even with that. Maybe that? I'm, not, I'm trying not to, like, give up on it too quick, but I do have limited Estus to work with here. A sunlight elixir. Um. Okay, I do see where it wants me to go, but um. Oh, you're gonna be a pain, aren't you? I'm gonna try and pop her with an arrow, see if I can get a retention. <sighs> because I really were... I really want to use that Dragon Slayer grape. But... Why did you unequip your arrows? I don't remember unequipping them. Why are you asking? Me? Uh, hi. Are you, are you just T-posing at me? You're just T-posing at me, aren't you? Oh, this is just cruelty. Okay. Jump! Well, that's not a jump. See, if I had jumped, I could make it. But also notice that she didn't aggro. I'm assuming... The reason I'm saying she is it looks like one of the Daughters of Isolith NPCs. Well, not NPCs. One of... Normally in front of the Bed of Chaos boss, you would fight a character, an entity that looks like that. There is also the option of using a humanity to bump up my health a bit more. Oh, but I don't want to waste humanity because I still don't have a reliable way to get more. Spam roll like your life depends on it. Your life does depend on it. Hey, don't roll off! That would have been my luck. I would just roll right off the edge. I, if you jump early enough, you don't take damage. The first time I jumped too late, so I had already stepped into the lava. It just greatly increases the distance you can go. Thank you for putting my blood stain. understand you. You vanish. If I if I leave the area and come back, she vanishes. I don't know. Uh, hello, centipede. I probably want a big shield just for the fire resistance. But that means I have to wear the rocks ring so that I can actually still move. Let's see if we can figure out what the game expects from me here. The fight the centipede team, apparently. Um, run away. Maybe I can get them to fight each other. Hey! Hey, friend. Um, you're not messing with me. You want to fight the centipede? Because I don't. Ow! I could... I lost target lock. we not spam that? Where, where, where? Ha! Ah. Hide in here, and you're gonna just attack me through the wall, probably. 
because you were never designed for this area. Called it. I fared as much because the other bosses I've seen, their attacks flip through stuff because they're not designed for dealing with stuff. And he's just gonna spam the same attacks, but at least now I'm not being knocked back to the club. I don't want to pull you into here. careful with my stamina. As long as all of his attacks are physical. Designed for this, buddy. Okay, so that's a grab attack, I think. That, that right there. I feel like I'm having to cheese this a bit, but. Work to my advantage at all. This is probably so weird to fuck. Oh, yeah. Got him. I can't, he's too far away for me to lock on to. That'll lure him up close. No, it won't. Oh, thank you, tower shields. Can I hit that? Like, hit his arm when he's trying. because it brings him up close. That one. Uh, this is a good example of what I consider to be cheesing a ball. I'm having to get him to use a specific attack so that I can hit him so that so that I can just repeat this process at null. Always be sure of target lock. You're lucky I can't hit you. Oh, what is that? No. No. What, what, am I, what is hitting me? All, all I know is there's fire. I know is there's lots of fire. 
Okay, that's the attack I need. This is not good for me. That's a grab. Grab. Nope. Oh, I think I could have finished him off there, but it would have been so great. And... Give me that ring. Orange charge ring. humanity and a homeward bone. You were no help at all, you know that? You're weird. Also, I don't understand you. Am I supposed to kill you? Or you just, you know what, you're weird. You're gonna turn around and kill me in a minute and steal something from me and I'm gonna be very upset. See, normally the way you fight Centipede Demon is in that room back there with the lava waterfall and all, uh, and he ends up just kind of bashing you into a wall until you can get under him and I think you chop his tail off at some point. And this area down here is normally infested by the bottom half of zombie dragons. The bottom halves of zombie, the numerous zombie dragons. I don't have the luxury of using my charred, uh, my black eye ring either. Twin humanities. Yay, a free, uh, free kindling. Beware of them little fire statues. Should switch back to my club. That, that at least puts me back down below. Assuming he kept it intact, there should be a hidden wall somewhere down here. There it is. Ah. Uh. supposed to be a bonfire here. I just know they're going to kill me if I turn my back on the wall. And there's the exit to the area. Okay. Run, 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 run. Okay, well, we made it through the area with both of the. Oh, and there's a third one, ain't it? No, just two. Yeah, that's where that thing is. Okay, so that's, uh. Well, that's Isolith, I guess. I don't know anymore. This place is weird. Um, um, hey, hey, can we talk about this? Okay, now I need to go to Isleth and work my way backward. No, wait. I love that he... Well, hello. Was it all a lie? 
Have I done this all for nothing? Oh, my dear son. What now? What should I do? My son. My dear, dear son. Was it all up? See, normally you'd find him at the bonfire after Centipede Demon, where he would be saying that, assuming you took out the sunlight maggots, because otherwise he would have found it, put it on while it was... I don't know. It's like he went inside. It's possible he went hollow after putting it on. Uh, it's also possible that the maggot itself was parasitic. Man, I'm, yeah, I'm not kidding. I want my soul. Give. Annoying. Well, actually, annoying. Really, really fascinating spider goobers. I just love that they're included. Back to Notre Dame. All is right with the world. I'm gonna go get that item now. I don't know what was up with the, uh, the Isolus, like the pyromancers that were just standing around being useless. The least they could have done was helped. Give it me a That makes me very happy. I love getting Estus' upgrade. Mo Estus. We need Mo Estus. Ah! Oh, that's right, you're in here. <laughs> I forgot about him just chilling out in here. Oh, yay, a pyromancy. Too bad I don't have a pyro glove. Don't mess with the dragon. Backsides. They have very short aggro range. Fun fact, in the, you know, if, if my understanding is right, before they patched the game, they had, like, oppressively large aggro range. And because there was a bunch of them in the area in vanilla... They would basically all be aggroed to you all the time. <laughs> and it was not... Yeah, this is usually where you'd end up fighting the centipede demon. Uh, you'd be jumping across these to minimize lava damage. That's where you'd enter. You'd quickly jump across here, then jump across there and end up over there. Because it gave you the largest amount of open uh, landscape to fight him with. Uh, as many interesting and fun rings as there are, especially in Daughters of Ash, it is too bad that I am still... It would have been nice if the mod had given me the full, like, Dark Souls 2 and 3, 4 ring treatment. Because, like, I really want to use Calamite's ring, but, you know, that means giving up the Tiny Bing's ring, or giving up the Havel's ring. And I may switch, end up switching to Calamite's ring, actually, at some juncture. What I need to do is go to Isleth. I mean, go to the... Uh, the bonfire we began at today. Level up. Then there's a few things I can do where, with the lava where Ceaseless Discharge was. Oh, don't kill me. Ah. Uh, and then we'll pause. Trying to keep these episodes at a, you know, decent length. Because they had once more been getting to really oppressive amounts of length. And, uh, you know, oh, hi. Uh. Are you with me, Belle? 
please, for the love of all that is holy, sell me a pyromancy. There is nothing to say except you should be. Pyromancy glove. I need it, man. Uh, three more stamina. Oh, now I remember. I don't know what's up. And she's gone. I th maybe they're just buggy. I don't know anymore. Here's a good question from a coding stance. Are you ta actually interacting with the, like when where Andre is at? Am I actually interacting with Andre there because Andre's player model is there? Or am I interacting with a trigger point and Andre's model is there to create the illusion that I'm interacting with Andre? These are all such interesting questions. See, normally I'd let one of these guys parasite me so that Ingi would be more talkative to me because I then have parasite but none of them are aggro to me and they're kinda I don't know whether ticking them off will cause problems for me so I'm not but there be items over there out there amongst the lava man I see a lot of items actually the main question is are there still Tauros demons hiding out there. Not really hiding. I mean, th there's only so much they can do to hide, you know. They're large and bulking creatures. My eyes hurt already. They did a really good job with the lava, but I don't want to deal with worms! No. stick. Oh hi, you're still alive. I thought you died. Three and... Uh... Oh, corrosion. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, see, that one requires the charge ring. Not the black dragon ring. That would be a horrible idea because it would remove all of my defenses. Because I'm trying to, I tried to jump and I. Dude, jump! They really shouldn't have tried putting jump puzzles into a game where you don't have really good jump controls. Okay, that would have been useful a while ago. Now I want to wear that. Because that'll give me back 20% souls. I'm losing 20% souls because of the ring of favor and protection so it would balance itself back out. If possible, I will probably do that when able. And there's a Taurus. Oh, oh Taurus! Oh, there's more. Did, did I unequip the... Starting to detect a conspiracy here. Hey! Hey, buddy! Ah, 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 ah. No, oh, dear. I swear I saw something that wasn't there. I don't know, it was like a transparent thing. You're faster than me, aren't you? I don't like this. Oh, hi! I 
could have finished you off. I want you to remember that worm. I could have killed you. Ah, uh, hello, okay. oh hi. I'm not fighting two of them. I'm not an idiot. Are they that tightly coded? I mean... Hey. Yeah, you biggin. Come on. Uh, I didn't miss. You coward. Look at this nonsense. Look at this nonsense. Uh 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 uh, you ain't playing that game. Trying to trick me. Well, what is this? This is an anomaly in the... Like, they, they have a limited range. They can chase me. But they really want to stay aggroed, too. But I'm not fighting them both at once. Because, again, I'm not an idiot. I'm not saying somebody that does so is an idiot. I just know that I'm not skilled enough to fight two of them at once. And therefore, for me to do so, would be stupid. Not even funny stupid, just stupid stupid. So close to dead. Gotcha. gotcha. Back steps, back steps, always back steps. It's not my fault you didn't want to be hit in the crotch of the club. You attacked me. What, what, what do you want me to do about it? My fault you're that tall? Uh, and then there were items. Yeah, this one would work. Yeah, I mean, there's some cheesy ways you could get stuff like that without being charged. See, normally there'd be an ember over here, too. I think that's all the items. Come on, you could have hid one way back over here. I really want to look down there. Let's see what the charred iron rings. This is lava damage and grants communion with chaos. Maybe I need to wear that to talk to her. Since swords were inflamed by lava from birth, Daughters of Isleth gave their impetuous brother the special ring. The fool that he is, he readily dropped it, and from that spot, a terrible uh. son of demon was born. Allows communion with chaos. Okay, you know, I, I grant that it's at least it's in the item description. In Dark Souls, it's generally brilliantly hidden either amongst the item lore or otherwise hinted at via other things. And that is one thing that always worked well to that, the games. What is with the floating? Why? Floating. Uh, Did you think no one would notice? That is exactly what they Look at that. The, the, the scorched particles, and I mean, the, not particles, but the, the transparent stuff is floating above the terrain. They thought no one would notice, but alas, they did not expect me. Hopefully she's still up there because you remember how much of a pain it was. Let's just say even if I saved, quit the game and reopen it, she would disappear. If I died, she would disappear. If I entered the area and left, she would disappear. So it was a royal pain. Which is one of the reasons I did not want to die to the centipede demon because it would require me doing all of that over again. I don't even know if it does anything. It just bothered me.
But I have the chaos ring, you know, whatever. Are you prepared then? I will, if you need some. There is nothing to say except you. He's not kidding. If you attack her, he will scream and start crawling across the room to attack you. Wait up, my dear sister. Okay, apparently it has the effect of the witch's ring, which allows me to talk to her. Quayla, what is it? Yay! Estus Blast plus two! Quayla, the X, I am I. Not dealing with that. Not dealing with that. Not dealing with that. Not gonna, not, not trying to give her a hundred Est, a hundred humanity right now. Yes, yes, Covenant. Really need to be in the Forest Keeper Covenant right now, anyway. Goodbye, Quaid Abdu. Yes, yes, thank you. You, man, do not be rash with your pride. You have yet to earn my trust. If you try anything funny with the fair lady, there will be hell to pay. vanished again. I don't know. Maybe they vanish and reappear just randomly. Even though they're technically still there. Uh, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something stupid, but I'm gonna try something. But first, I want to use that thing. There it is. Oh, because I'm offline, because it's offline only. I was gonna use it to check my covenant level. But anyway, I'm gonna go kick one of these guys, try to get them to parasite me. I'm gonna save first. And then see if I can get Engi to do anything interesting. I'll be back! Assuming it doesn't break everything. I'm gonna come down here to this lone gentleman out here, give him a swift kick. See if I can get him to parasite me. Why did my kick light him on fire? Fun as it ever was to see. <laughs> yep, y'all shred health just as quick as I was. Yep, got it. Okay. Player starts scratching their head, it means you have been infected. And now it's a waiting game. I just really have to appreciate the draw distance in this game. Just the, the way the terrain, even when distant, is still, you know, visible at a one-to-one -one ratio. Like when you're in Anne Orlando and you look up at uh the Duke's archive. That is actually rendered one-to-one -one ratio. Now there is a weird glitch where there's a door that renders up above the Duke's archive. It's like it's rendering in the wrong spot instead of being part of the archive, but like if you free cam around, just the, the, the attention to detail is one of the things that really shines in Dark Souls 1. Not saying Dark Souls 2 and 3 don't have it, but you know, naturally we're drawn to the first instance. And especially in Dark Souls 1, because of its interconnected world, you can see it more directly than Dark Souls 2's hub world. And, uh, honestly, I don't remember enough of Dark Souls 3's world to really try to piece it together. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. And now we've got a little hit. Now, random thing, uh, if... As long as you have the parasite on your head, it consumes a percentage of the souls that are dropped for you. Once that reaches a certain value, it matures and you gain the ability to do that thing where the bug comes out and bites, which is, I mean, kind of useless, but, you know, interesting. 
There was a there was a long-standing rumor that you could use that attack to parasite other players, but to my knowledge, that has never been substantiated. Now there have been weapon hacks that gave you a weapon that could parasite people, and it generally there's been a lot of stupid weapon hacks in Dark Souls One. Uh, now most invaders you see won't have such things, but you know there is the rare occasional one. Uh, I actually had somebody attack me once. They were invincible. Their dagger one-shot me, poisoned, like all of the status bars appeared. Poison, bleed, toxic, curse. It cursed and infected me. It was at the bonfire, like right after the uh, the Hippodrome in Ulaseel, like where, uh, where we fought the Sanctuary Guardian. It was right there. Because, you know, I actually stayed and was going to try to fight him, and he just... He let me attack him just to show that he was invincible and then one-shot me with his little magic hacked dagger. No response. Hey, Angie. I got a parasite, but it may be on my head. It's supposed to be not on my head. Well, now, you're just like me. Your dedication is fully apparent. Only, well, your head looks awful. Why not try this? I've no use for it any longer. Oh, hello. What is it that you need? This makes him more friendly towards us. Let's see, he will sell us pyromancy, but apparently not the... Uh... Worse than undead. We are diseased and unwanted, like the grime of the Great Swamp. But my dear fair lady, she cried for me and swallowed the great blight pus, despite Mistress Quellad's orders to the contrary. Worse than unlike but and Okay, well. I could hope. You know, I could buy pyromancy, yay! But I don't have any way to use it, yeah. Okay, well, this this was a pointless endeavor. I got two of them, yay. Uh, did I go past it? There it is. There we go. Oh yeah, I don't think you can have anything, like, any helmet equipped during that time either. So, uh... I guess we're done with Isolith now. Uh, that leaves I can deal with Nito or Ornstein and Smo. I'd rather put them off, though. I want to see if I can get all of the Great Souls before dealing with them. Which would mean I have to figure out how to unseal uh, Nulando because it is still sealed. And I uh, still don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pause here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.